There's a lot of information out there. The trick is finding the good stuff. Whether you're searching the free web or a database, thinking about search terms to search for your topic can save you time and help you find better results. This tutorial will help you to generate effective search terms for your searches. You'll see that generating search terms is a dynamic process, and you'll see some examples of that process. Before you begin, know that this tutorial assumes that you've thought about an initial topic to start with. Also know that this tutorial will refer to the phrase search terms, but you might see keywords used in other places. These two terms are interchangeable. Maybe you're wondering why thinking about search terms is important and how it can help you. The main thing it can do is to help you save time and be a more efficient searcher. Thinking about search terms can help you explore different perspectives of your topic. It can help you to find more relevant results. And it can make your projects more interesting and engaging for both you and your readers. Before we get to specifics, let's look at a very brief overview of the searching process. First, you define your topic. Next, you brainstorm search terms. Then, you perform your search. And next, you can browse results and record new search terms. These new search terms may help you to further define your topic. Notice that the process is dynamic and ongoing. As you search, you may add to your search terms list, and your topic may develop and change. Let's look at some methods to brainstorm good search terms. You may find it helpful to keep a written list of search terms which you can add to as you go along. The first step in brainstorming search terms is to look at your topic sentence and pick out the words that represent the main ideas. These main idea words can be your first search terms. Use these words to brainstorm synonyms and other search terms to add to your list. Let me discuss a few ways to brainstorm search terms. Let's keep our example topic sentence in mind. First, brainstorm different forms and spellings of your main idea words. Consider the time period that you're studying and how it might impact your terms. For example, early environmentalists were known as conservationists. Think about how different people in different positions might represent your topic and terms. For example, a lumberjack may refer to logging, while an environmentalist might use the term deforestation, and a scientist might refer to forest management. It can also be helpful to think about ideas and subtopics related to your main idea terms. Subtopics related to our example topic sentence might include healthy forest initiative, salvage logging, or firefighting. Okay, let's take another look at our topic sentence example.